Once you've logged in for the first time, it does default now to the new Lightning Experience user interface. And if, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but you're inside of the Object Manager and Setup menu or Setup Application. And so you can actually change the application you're in in Lightning Experience by clicking the App Launcher here. And that brings up the AMP Launcher screen. And so you could go to the more traditional view of like Cells, for instance. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the cells application related to some of the objects that you'll find inside of cells and there's a lot of dummy data that's already in here in this free developer account for you and so the way to log out of Salesforce is you click on the icon in the top right and then select log out and I wanted to show you where you go to log back in and so the main thing here as you're working through your different exercises either in this course or in Trailhead or as you're learning uh, you want to go to login.salesforce.com and you see that here in the URL and so you go to login.salesforce.com you enter your username and your password and click login now you may be prompted to register your phone number and you can do that in order to authenticate yourself further and it makes it easier to verify your identity when you log into Salesforce. You can do that later. I'm going to say remind me later. But you could go ahead and register that and that'll send you a five or six character code that you enter in and that'll tie your phone number into your user account. Now what we need to do in order to round out this particular lecture is to show you how to switch between Lightning Experience and Salesforce Classic. And so if you click this icon here at the top right once again, you can select to switch to Salesforce Classic. Okay, so this is the more traditional view of Salesforce that you may be used to if you've used Salesforce in the past. And this is Salesforce Classic. It's the classic user interface and some of the course we'll be working through will be in Salesforce Classic and some of it will be in Lighting Experience. It really depends on the topic at hand and the lecture at hand as far as what interface will be in. There's still some things that are not supported in Lightning Experience and so we will spend some time here in Classic. And so now that you're familiar with logging in and out of Salesforce and switching between the two interfaces, we'll next look at downloading and reviewing the Sales Cloud Consultant Exam Guide.